Hey guys, Paul Fleming here with churchinc.com. I'm looking forward to spending the next few minutes with you just chatting through some tips and some thoughts about how to communicate Easter most effectively. And I got to tell you, I love Easter. In the life cycle of a church's year, um, there are so many great moments and opportunities that we have to share the gospel. But of course, Easter kind of stands out as one of the best opportunities of the year to share the gospel with people. And so I just really, really have a special place in my heart for communications related to Easter. And here's what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to talk about asking the right question in terms of our communication strategy for Easter. And here's what I mean by that. You know, I think a lot of people, we, we, we come to Easter and we go, oh man, it's coming, I gotta get ready. And we get in our little war room with our staff and we start thinking about all the things we did last year and all the things that we've gotta communicate and all the information that we have to distribute and all the channels we have to distribute it on. And, and we start asking these questions, what, what channel do I need to distribute it, this information? And, and what about that information? And where can I talk about this? And, and we start thinking about Facebook ads and Google ads and email and websites and postcards and invite cards. And, and all those are really fantastic things. But I kind of think they're the wrong question to ask. Instead of asking the question, what information do I need to distribute at Easter to get the most people here? Let me encourage you to switch the question up and ask a different question. It's similar, it's related, but it's different. And the real question that I think that we need to be asking for Easter is not what information do I need to distribute, but this, what tools do we need to create that can inspire our people to redistribute information? You see the difference? It's not about me distributing information as a leader from the stage or wherever. It's about me inspiring and you inspiring people in our church to get involved, to participate in this mission and to in some way help redistribute this information. Because let's face it, if I invited and you invited every person that you know in the community, and that's all the people that showed up on Easter, you'd have a pretty small service, wouldn't you? Because the, re, the real magic happens when not you and not your staff, but when 50 others and 100 others and 500 others and 1,000 others start going out as an army and inviting the one, two, three, five people in their network that they feel like have the most and the best opportunity to come to Easter, right? And so I, I wanna encourage you in the next few things I'm gonna talk about just have to do with switching the question and the mentality up of thinking not, what information do I need to distribute at Easter? But rather, what tools do we need to create that will help people and inspire people to redistribute information? Now, before I get into all the tips, let me kind of go back a little bit and tell you why this is so personal to me as a leader. Uh, a lot of people know me as the, the owner and the founder of churchinc.com, but they may not know that I spent about 20 years as a pastor and a church planter. And one of the reasons that I love Easter is because I'm thinking back every time Easter rolls around, I'm thinking back to the time that my family and I moved to Portland, Oregon, and we started a church from the ground up. I mean, we didn't know anybody. We started with one or two families in our, in our living room, and then it was five and 10 families, and then we broke into multiple houses where people met. And before you know it, 70 or 80 people were meeting weekly in homes, and God was doing a kind of a cool thing. So we said, we should probably launch a public service because we think a lot of people in the community would come and hear the gospel. And so Easter Sunday was our first launch service. But you know, I realized that I don't know anybody in this town. And I was just getting to know a few people and I realized that I was, um, I was gonna be at a disadvantage if I was relying upon my skills to distribute information. And so what we did that first Easter is we started creating some tools, some really unique invite cards and some other tools, and we put them in the hands of people and we sent them out and we inspired them to go and invite their friends. And you know what happened? That first Sunday, 350 people sh showed up and it blew us away. And um, that same concept of inspiring people to get involved and participate it's the same strategy that I continue to use at Easter for the next many years as a pastor, including the last time that I served at a, at a church 
for Easter, uh, which was just a few years ago. And we had over 34,000 people show up at all of our campuses at Easter. Now, you know how we did that? It's because five or 10 staff members went and invited 10,000 people, right? No, that's not how it happened. It's because what we did is we created some tools and from the stage and on our website and personally and in our life groups and everywhere we could, we, we really motivated and inspired thousands and thousands of people to go out and invite one or two or five friends. And that's how that happens. And so the, the next few tips I want to talk about have to do with creating tools that inspire people in your church to all get involved and everyone taking up this responsibility of inviting their friends and family. So let me talk about a couple of those tips. Um, the first is, let's just start with the tools themselves, okay? Let, let's remember that the way we design those tools, whether or not they're cohesive and whether or not they they work in tandem with our online and offline assets together in a cohesive way is really, really important. And here's what I mean by that. If you kind of put a little bit of effort into design and you clutter up all of the stuff that you're going to distribute and you give those to your people and go now, now go tell your friends about this and it looks terrible. You know, I found that people kind of pull back and they say, I don't know if I want to give that to my friend, family, coworker, because it just doesn't look that good. And it really doesn't tell the story of our church very well. So let's start and make sure that whatever you're creating, whether it's offline collateral that Church Inc. does for you, or if it's online collateral like your websites and a landing page and your social media, let's just make sure that you're really putting the energy into clear and simple communications related to Easter. The basics have to be there and not much more. The service times, the name of my church, the logo, and the website where they can get more information is really all you need. So everything I'm about to talk about, let's just start with the design components and be thinking this is a tool that I'm going to put in the hands of Bob or Sally or Sue or Jim, and they're going to go and very nervously take a step of faith and they're going to invite a friend. Man, I better do my job to make sure this tool is top notch. It's got to look the very best and it's got to communicate clearly. So let's start there. But then let's kind of move from there and talk about some active ways that we can equip people to uh, give them tools to help invite them into this process of being evangelists in the community. Uh, the one is the, the classic, and that's the invite card. You know, even though we've been using invite cards, and here's an example of one that, that uh, you know, is, is, is great, that has a flip up style, and it's got information that's very basic about the church. Um, but you've got a thousand ideas for how to use these. Whatever it is, make it really sharp. Make it colorful, make it round, make it square, make it fold over like this one, uh, make it plastic. You can use a lot of creative ideas and we've got a bunch of them at Church Inc. that we use, use with our customers, but whatever it is, don't make it boring. Remember, this is a tool. And so what I wanna encourage you to do is to think as creative as you can about the tools that you use for invite cards. Uh, one of my favorites right now, because a lot of our customers are using them, a few years ago, we started creating uh, these branded gift card holders. And let me just tell you how to use these because not, not everyone is familiar with them. Um, but we'll print double-sided an invite card that's actually a gift card, a gift card holder. And what you're going to do is you're going to stand up on the weekend and go, guys, everyone do me a favor, reach under your seat. I've got a gift for you. And they pull that gift card out and you go, now everyone hold this up. Let me tell you what this is. This is an evangelism tool for you to use this week and next week as we get ready for Easter. Here's what you're gonna do. Go down to Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Panera Bread, wherever you wanna go, grab a $5 gift card, slide it in this gift card holder, and this is your invite card to get people to come to Easter with you. And here's what we're inviting you to do. We're inviting you to turn your generosity on Spend $5 and look at that as a gift for your neighbor, your friend, your coworker, your family member, and just say to them, hey, Jim, Bob, whatever your name is, uh, we've been thinking about you and your family, love that you guys are, are connected to us in our life, and we'd love to invite you to Easter with us and join our family. And even if you can't, here's a $5 gift card to Starbucks. It's on us just to let you know that we're really thinking about you on Easter and would love to have you come with us and that's all you got to say. Now, what you just did is you trained your people and you elevated 
the the importance of everyone being an evangelist at some level. You didn't just give them information. What you did is you gave them a tool that helped them redistribute the information related to Easter. Now there's a ton of ideas and that's just one one idea. Another idea I love are, are the yard signs. You know, you create a hundred yard signs, you put them at the back of your auditorium and you stand up on the weekend and you don't just distribute information, but you give them a tool and you say, guys, today there's a hundred yard signs. Now we've only got a hundred and so it's first come first serve. We're encouraging everyone, just take one please, but uh, grab one of those signs, put it in your front yard, maybe your place of business that the code will allow and use that as a tool to invite your friends to church on Easter Sunday. We'd really love for everyone in your community and your sphere of influence to be invited to church on Easter. And so there's a tool that you can do that with. Now, again, what you just did is you gave them a tool to redistribute information and you equipped them and you elevated the value of everyone being involved in the process, okay? Now, again, when you and your creative team get together, there's a thousand ideas you're gonna come up with that are probably way better than those. And uh, whatever they are though, here's the thing. Make sure that they are designed to help someone redistribute that information. Now, over the years, I've put together dozens and dozens and dozens of ideas that I've personally used or that our customers use to invite people to church at big times like Easter and Christmas. And I like to give those to you. And so um, since I don't have a ton of time to talk about all those ideas, I wanna encourage everyone to go to myeasterplan.com myeasterplan.com and you're going to find um, just a bunch of resources that our team have put together some checklists for all the things that you've got to do to get ready for easter um, and we'll even give you a custom branded checklist that you can take to your senior leadership if you need to or your staff meeting and give you some talking points uh, to help them understand all the things that go into communicating Easter this year. So go to myeasterplan.com, download all the stuff. It's absolutely free and it's our gift to you and I hope that you enjoy it. So, hey, uh, as I wrap up, let me just say, I'm really excited for you this Easter. I'm excited for you every Easter uh, because it's a great opportunity to share the gospel and I'm really hoping that great things happen in your community and uh, I hope that a couple of these thoughts will um, help you guys as you plan and think about Easter and help you rethink how you're going to get information out and make sure that you're engaging people and inspiring them to go partner with you to do the work of an evangelist and get people to come and see what God is up to at your church.